May we address the case of Mario Fernandez Saldana, number five on the court's calendar. And again, good morning, Your Honor. Jesse Dreiser here on behalf of Mr. Fernandez Saldana, along with my co-counsel, Mr. Hill, and lead counsel, Frank Tassoni. Uh, <clears throat> I believe the state has an announcement this morning. Your Honor, at this time, the state is going to file and publish today a notice of intent to seek the death penalty and notice of aggravating factors. I provided a copy to Mr. Dreiser, a copy from the court and clerk. May I approach? Yeah. Ms. Deblers will please publish. Your Honor, in the instant case, the state of Florida does hereby give notice to the defendant in this case, Mario Enrique Fernandez Saldana, pursuant to Florida statute 78204B, that the state of Florida intends to seek the death penalty for first degree murder charged in this case. The applicable statutory aggravating circumstances as set forth in Florida statute 921.141 are as follows. Subsection B, the defendant was previously convicted of another capital felony or of a felony involving the use or threat of violence to a person. Subsection F, the capital felony was committed for pecuniary gain. Subsection I, the capital felony was a homicide and was committed in a cold, calculated, and premeditated manner without any pretense of moral or legal justification. This notice also serves um, as a request from defense to provide the statutory and non-statutory mental mitigating circumstances that the defendant expects to establish through expert testimony in the names and addresses of any experts the defendant would expect to call. All right, thank you. Does the defense acknowledge notice of the state's intent to seek the death penalty? We do, Your Honor. We were provided in advance of this notice. We acknowledge receipt uh, and publication, and we just reserve the right to challenge this document and the process uh, throughout the this litigation. Okay. And then, Mr. Dreiser, you indicated, um, and I'll ask the uh, clerk to, Mr. Tissoni, um, you have tried several death penalty cases, is that correct? More than several. Okay. Um, and you will uh, take over as lead counsel in this case? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. So, Mr. Hathaway, if you'll please note uh, Mr. Tissoni as lead counsel. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Is there anything else we need to take up? Uh, other than a past date, Your Honor, perhaps 30 or 45 days um, for us to come back and update the court on any progress. All right. Um, pursuant to the rule, um, I'm going to give 45 days in light of the notice. And um, after that time, I'd ask counsel to uh, update the docket with both lead counsel's qualifications and co-counsel's qualifications. We'll come back and address that. Uh, for the role. Yes, ma'am. Is there a better day of the week that you all are? No. Okay. Okay. What, what week, Your Honor? I was either looking at the first week of June or the week of June 20th and 19th as a holiday. Or we can come back at the end of June. June, June 20th, that Tuesday, is the court available for? Yes. yes okay. Ma'am. The next court date for pretrial will be June 20th. Thank you all. And we'll have that filing done and filed by that time, Your Honor. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you for the family and the deceased victim is present for today's court date. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Excuse me. Yes. Yeah.